Hey, Sneakers back for another distro review. Well, not really a review, just a look at this one. This is EX Lite or X Lite. Now, he does some other distros as well, okay? Or desktops, whatever you want to call it. But this time, the reason I was brought forward to this one because it's Enlightenment, and you know I do love Enlightenment because it's bloody fantastic. But there's so few distros that use it. Because the implementation sometimes is a bit difficult, okay, and you get some seg faults and stuff like that. But on this one, after the first few boots, it was running rather nice. I know, lovely. Now, I've got a still picture here for you. Now, as default, we have motion pictures, but I'll show you that in a moment, okay? So I'm going to run from a live CD here, or DVD, sorry, for the simple reason, for the life of me, I couldn't get bloody installed. Okay, you get halfway through the installer and it goes, eh, eh, I don't think I want to play with you anymore. I oh, know, okay. So we'll just go with a live one here for, for now. Hopefully I'll update it really soon. I can get it installed into a proper one. Okay. So anyway, if you know Enlightenment, you don't have to have this. You can have anything you really want. Okay. So I'm going to right click to stop. Nothing happens. But if I left it to stop, Get all the applications, so accessories, you've got an image viewer, leaf pad, under development, you get Genie, Genie, nee, 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 nee. under graphics, you gimp it as default, okay, you, so you get it, an image viewer, image magic, yeah, it's probably not the right one I want anyway, under internet, Chrome as your web browser, and Wicked, Wicked, Jungle is massive, for your network configuration, okay. Under multimedia, you get MPV, which is standard in Ubuntu now, as far as I'm aware. And if I'm wrong, just somebody will tell me. Okay. SM Player as well. Yeah, under Office, you get LibreOffice. Is it the full LibreOffice suite? Let's have a click and find out. Okay. And while it's doing that, oh, I've done it so quick, I couldn't even grab my glass. Did you see that? So you get a document, spreadsheet, presentation, drawing, formula, and database. That's standard, okay? All right, it's not a smallest download you can have, but hey, who cares? Anyway, okay, so Office we done, okay? Under Other, we still get Google Chrome and Synaptic, okay? It's your package manager. Unfortunately, for some, fortunately, I like it, so it's good for me. So I'll open that for you. Yeah, 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 we've read all of them before. Just, just open the bloody thing. Here you can look for all the stuff you want to do, mark all your upgrades, and off you go. Now, bearing in mind, sometimes some people that make distros don't configure them properly, and sometimes when you upgrade via Synaptic, they go, <laughs> and you have to be aware of this when you're using an, a rather unknown distro. Now, until I can get this installed, I can't actually tell you that. But hey, Synaptic's here. Where else do you want that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, down our bar down here, you can actually configure this any way you want to. If you've used Enlightenment before, I mean, E17, E18, I love anyway. Do uh, I suppose some of you remember MacPub. MacPub, MacPub. I know. I'll keep going on, John, and he won't come back. Right? There might be another one in the future. Who knows? The sound goes. But hey, we've got to feed our families, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So in our bar down the bottom, we've got Gimpy, Chrome, Synaptic, Wicked, wicked. Farm manager, PC man, farm manager. Let's have a look. Well, might as well. While we're here. So this is where I can tell it's um, Ubuntu based. Because it's not actually changed this style here. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm not dissing you for it, mate. I'm not dissing you for it. But hey, attention to detail sometimes makes the winner. Okay, over here we have Terminal. Oh, this is why I do love you. No, this is why I actually don't use term terminology. This is a, a video on its own, and which I'm going to do over the next week. But terminology is one of the best oh, terminals ever. I oh, know. Oh, don't tell the wife, don't. No, don't tell the wife. Oh. So, unfortunately, I couldn't install it, but on the. It's good. I like it, but hey. Okay, this is what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to right click and we're going to go to settings. I'm going to go to wallpapers. Now, by default, he has animated wallpapers. Now, I don't know if you've been following me for a while or any, how many years, but quite a few years ago, we had a play with this in Puppy Linux. Okay. 
but the CPUs and GPUs just weren't up to it. So I'm going to go down to one and see if we're up to it now. Bearing in mind I'm using this in the box because I can't do it in real life because I can't get it installed. Oh no. Where have we got? Oh yeah. Storm animated. Let's apply that. Do you see what I mean? Now that's no different from what I done all them years ago. Okay. If you're going to do an animated wallpaper, can we have it properly animated? I'll try another one. Storm number two. We'll apply that. Yeah, it's just, you know, mm, I like it. Don't get me wrong, I like it. But it's using my CPU up for stuff that I can do other stuff with. If, you, if I'm going to have a, an animated desktop, I want it done proper. Not just a couple of shots. Okay. This is, I do like it. Pl I, please don't get me wrong, I do really, really like it. But it's not you, it's the whole community. We need to get this sorted out. If we're going to do animated desktops, we need them sorted. But on the whole, I do actually like it. Just if you can get the installer to work for me properly, I'll do a proper one. Sneaky Linux out. Lovely. Bye bye. <laughs>